So for every single house that gets demolished, 70% of Austin's demos replace that single house with another house. So there's no gain in our housing supply, which again is, is, is you know, at its limit and at its breaking point really. So um, what we need are demos that allow for one house to be replaced by two, one house to be replaced by three, one house to be replaced by four, and that's missing middle housing. I'm Scott Turner. I've been an urban infill builder and a real estate agent for about 20 years now. And I got engaged with Code Next uh, because of my firsthand exposure to Austin's housing shortage. There are lots of changes in the current code and proposed code. Some are good and some are bad. So on the one hand, um, we have some more flexible regulations. Uh, accessory dwelling units, or ADUs as they're called, uh, garage apartments, uh, are much easier to build under Code Next. And, and those are really important because they allow people to age in place, they allow additional rental income, it allows you to perhaps even move into the ADU and rent your house out and still stay in your neighborhood. But uh, as far as additions go, uh, there are a lot of new regulations in Code Next that really make it more difficult and more expensive to do an addition. Uh, so on the one hand, it is a little easier to build some housing types, but on the other hand, there are a lot more new non-zoning regulations that kick in, and that's part of the concern we have with version 3 today, is there's a whole lot of extra code uh, to use an analogy, when version one started out, it started rolling along and as it rolled through all the city departments, it sort of acted like it was covered in Velcro, picking up additional code as it went along. And now we're in at about 1,500 pages worth of, of code. Uh, and really that should be uh, much less. That's much longer than our current code for comparison. So 85,000 people a day commute into 78701 downtown and they all get in their cars and go right back out again. And that is a consequence of sprawl. So the reason we need a code change is because we need more housing and, and we, need, we need more housing near where people work. And it's as simple as that. Uh, and, and that at its core is a problem that is not uh, neighborhood versus developer, but rather one for the entire community. Uh, we really have to find a solution or we will end up uh, where cities like San Francisco are, where, where really you, you have to be wealthy in order to, to own a house in, in the city. And I don't think that's an Austin that, that anybody wants to see. Code Next is a complicated process and there's not really an easy elevator pitch for it. So I'd encourage you to go to abor.com forward slash Code Next to find out more, take a look at some more videos, and hopefully get informed and get involved.